Hey everybody, Tim again, founder of Ramp. And in the previous video, we went through generating a contract with Ramp. And we saw that it only took a couple minutes. Most of the time was really just me explaining all of the features, but the actual time it took to make that contract was less than a minute, which is awesome, right? So now we can move a lot more quickly. Uh, the next step is going to be, how do we take this code and deploy it onto the blockchain but without having to write any code. It's actually quite easy. And we're gonna be working on the Rinkeby Ethereum network. So the Rinkeby network is a test network for Ethereum. You can't like make any money on this network, but we always recommend that you test your contract and all of its functionality on Rinkeby before deploying to mainnet. Because once you go to mainnet, there is no turning back. So. Testing is very important. Be sure you always do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So we're gonna to go to deploy your contract on testnet. If you, for our example, on the dashboard, you would just click this little deploy on Rinkeby uh, little, little arrow, but we're gonna to go to it. You'll see we're loading a project. Now, this is just a step-by-step -step guide. It's really inexpensive to get Rinkeby ETH. In fact, I probably have a ton of it. So I'm gonna to switch to the Rinkeby network just by clicking that button. And you are now on the Rinkeby network. You'll see I have 104 ETH. Now I wish that that was a real number and it's really not though, because Rinkeby ETH is free to get. And in fact, the reason I have so much is so that you can just tweet at RampDAO on Twitter and I'll send you some, just so that you can test our, our project because our system of tools we know is just unparalleled and we don't want there to be any blocker. I cannot send you real ETH though. I'm sorry, it's just, you know, it's just not the way it is. But anyway, to deploy our contract, like that thing we just generated, we just click this button. And you're gonna see that, give it a second, it'll pop up with some numbers. We are on the Rinkeby test network. Now this dollar figure, like because we're on the test network, it is not real. It does not cost $27, it would cost more than that on mainnet. So don't believe this, this is a lie. All the numbers you see on Rinkeby are a lie. Um, we're just testing functionality here. So we're gonna click confirm. And if we go back to MetaMask, we should have a pending contract deployment. I'm gonna copy the transaction ID because the next step is saving the contract hash and address. So we're gonna paste it right there. And then we're gonna go to the block explorer. And you'll see that we just got that transaction confirmed. Uh, we may have to wait a couple minutes for the Rinkeby Etherscan nodes to index our transaction. But what will happen is that we will get a transaction hash inside of here. Okay, and so now you can see that Etherscan has updated our transaction with a contract address. Let's just click on it because we're gonna wanna refer to this later. And we're gonna copy this address just by clicking that little copy button. We're gonna paste it in here and we're gonna click update contract information. Now, the next step, Verify and validate contract. Now, why would you want to verify your contract on Etherscan? Well, there's a lot of reasons for doing it. The main is trust. People do not like to mint or interact with contracts in which the source code is not verified. So, we make this really easy for you. You just click on this first link. It will automatically pre-populate all of the details that you'll need. You'll need to then go to your contract source code and then we're gonna to wanna to turn optimization to yes. Control A, paste. And you'll see that this, this constructor arguments, copy this string and just replace it. Click I'm not a robot and it's probably gonna make me solve some stuff to train Google's neural network. Okay, we passed, that's awesome. Click verify and publish, oh man. Stuff must be going on with Rinkeby right now because they're doing all these blockers. I don't know what's going on, but uh, if we just wait a couple seconds, this, this Cloudflare scan should, uh, should pass. And basically what we, sh what we did is we submit our source code to Etherscan, and Etherscan's gonna say, okay, what data did we get and what contract did we get? Do these things match? And if they match, we're verified and people will be able to explore our code and also you as a creator will have the added benefit of being able to manage your contract directly from Etherscan. Although Ramp provides a dashboard to make this easy, it is nice that Etherscan does provide you some extra uh, utility for just interacting with your contract and reading variables. Um, 
Okay, cool. Look at that. Uh, we were successful and our contract is now fully verified. And the reason that you know that is because there is now a contract tab with this nice green check mark. We love to see it and we especially love to see our custom little header image. And if we go to read contract, you'll notice that we have a whole bunch of variables that we can read from. And if you are the owner, you can actually connect with Web3 and even run some of these functions, although that's not necessary really at all because Ramp makes it a lot easier. So our contract is done, we are deployed, we are verified, and you can actually, if you need to redeploy your contract for whatever reason, um, like you just you know accidentally minted too many tokens, just delete these values from here and click update and this button will become available again for you to, uh, for you to press. So just one thing to know if you need to redeploy your contract on Rinkaby. Uh, you can redeploy as many times as you like. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that you test your contract and you make sure that all of its functions work exactly as you expected. So that is uh, pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go over managing your contract and listing your NFT, this smart contract, on NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and LooksRare and Rarible and all of those. The process is all the same for all of them. So see you in the next video.